Guys, the most shocking piece of Miss SA news came out. I've actually had to go to the gym just to process this. And thus, this video is not scripted at all, okay? This is sort of a raw reaction from me. Natasha Hubert has entered Miss South Africa again. This floored me because I made a video the other day talking about the Miss South Africa entry form and how there are clear stipulations that um, former Miss South Africans may not enter but also runners up from the past two years. Now granted, Natasha was a runner up in 2020 so this doesn't include her. Just runners up from 2021 and 2022 may not enter but I just assumed and I suppose I'm an idiot for doing this, but I assume that Natasha would automatically not be able to enter because she already represented South Africa. She already carried the Miss South Africa brand overseas. Same with Tatu. I actually assumed that Tatu, who went to Miss Supranational 2021, would not be able to enter again. But I mean, I suppose she could if she wanted to, right? So why are former Miss South Africa representatives overseas allowed to enter again? I don't, I'm not complaining about this to be honest with you because I love Natasha. I would actually love to see Natasha at Miss Supranational. I said this in the year that she competed at Miss South Africa and I'm saying it again. I want to see Natasha at Miss Supranational but my issue with Natasha entering again is, right, the point of entering Miss South Africa is to win Miss South Africa. First and foremost, the goal of entering Miss South Africa is supposed to be to win the title of Miss South Africa. That is what is supposed to come first, as it should be, right? And I definitely think that Natasha's heart is in the right place with entering Miss South Africa because it's not like she can go to Miss Universe again. Because unlike Miss South Africa, the rules surrounding Miss Universe is clear. You can only go once. You can only represent your country at Miss Universe once. So even if Natasha won Miss South Africa, she wouldn't be able to go to Miss Universe. The issue is, who do we send to Miss Universe then? Because the new owner of Miss Universe, not only does she not want organizations like Miss South Africa to hold franchises like Miss World, Miss Supranational, etc. in conjunction with Miss Universe. She's also insinuated that she doesn't want runners up at the pageant, right? So if Natasha does win Miss South Africa, we can't send Natasha to Miss Universe again. Does that mean we will have to send a runner up to Miss Universe and risk going unplaced because let's not forget right the only time since 2017 that South Africa has gone unplaced at Miss Universe was the one year when we didn't send the crowned Miss South Africa it was the one year that we sent Natasha who was the second runner-up to Miss South Africa 2020 so my issue with Natasha is well it's not really an issue it's more of a concern it's that obviously I think Natasha is a wonderful woman in herself and obviously her heart is definitely in the right place with entering Miss South Africa again. She's not entering Miss South Africa as a gateway to go international because honestly Miss World definitely hasn't been happening. Um, Ayanda is already representing South Africa for Miss Supranational 2023 which means that Natasha would probably have to wait a year to go to Supranational anyway and then Davi, as far as I'm aware, is still going to Miss World 2023, which is happening in December. And then after that, who even knows what is going to be happening with Miss World? When are they going to have their next pageant? Only in 2025? I mean, <laughs> remains to be seen. But So I definitely think that Natasha is not just after an international title. And I am happy to see her again because, like I said, I really want Natasha... To be representing South Africa at Miss Supranational and I did think actually when Natasha went to Miss Universe and unfortunately went unplaced I did think it was a huge waste for her to not be going anywhere else because initially I thought that definitely this girl would 
do so amazing at Miss Supranational. And 2020, that edition anyway, was such a difficult year for South Africa because we've just come off three years of these amazing highs at Miss Universe. I mean, let's not forget Natasha came after, you know, Demi won Miss Universe in 2017. Tamron was first runner up in 2018 and Zozi won Miss Universe in 2019. So Natasha, she, she kind of was fighting an uphill battle with that, even getting the back to back from Zozi, but still I, <laughs> Oh, don't even get me started on Miss Universe 2020. Natasha deserves the place, but okay, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you guys think about Natasha entering again. I am super surprised. I'm so surprised. I thought literally because she has represented South Africa in the past, especially at Miss Universe, that um, she wouldn't be able to enter again, right? And I am so surprised that she that she has entered again. And then also, right, let, let me not leave out this amazing woman. Another woman who also competed in 2020, Jordan van der Feyfer, is also back. She's also competing again. But obviously, she hasn't won. She hasn't represented South Africa. So that hasn't caused a big of, as big of a stir. I'm actually just very excited to see Jordan back and Oh my goodness, the face off this year because Jordan has also grown so much. Natasha, I think, is she's just on another level since Miss South Africa 2020. Honestly, oh, I wish Natasha could represent South Africa at Miss Universe now. Oh my goodness, because that woman is just she has grown so much and I love her new hair and she's just amazing. So let me know what you guys think about this whole dilemma because if Natasha is crowned Miss South Africa, obviously we can't send her to Miss Universe again, which means we will have to send one of the runners up to Miss Universe. Will the new Miss Universe owner be okay with this, knowing that the crowned Miss South Africa is going to Miss World or Miss Supranational or perhaps even is going nowhere? Will the new Miss Universe owner be okay with this? And also, we know, we know that Miss Julia Mori, there are rumors, and I'm going to say alleged because I don't want to get sued. There are rumors that Julia Mori also doesn't like runners up at her pageant. So if Natasha doesn't go to Miss World, then who will be going to Miss World? And I know a lot of people have been telling me that the Miss South Africa organization should or probably will at some point start doing the thing where they crowned Miss Universe South Africa, Miss World South Africa and Miss Supranational South Africa and then they just crown a Miss South Africa out of those but then that just that does not erase the problem that does not erase the problem because Anne and Julia they want the winner so even if you dedicate a Miss World South Africa but then out of those three, you still pick the winner. They would want the winner. If the winner is not the same woman as the miss that you're sending to them, then they will not be happy with that. So I don't know. It's a difficult decision because we can't do away with the title of Miss South Africa and just crown three women and have them be like these conjoined tw twins, this weird thing that we had. In 2020 with Miss South Africa with Natasha and Tatu and Shudu and well now that I think about it that was actually kind of iconic maybe we could do that but I don't think the Miss South Africa organization will do away with the title of Miss South Africa altogether and just have three you know title holders three representative these three women because that will actually end up costing more also because then these three women will be, have to be you know treated as equal winners instead of winner and runner-up and runner-up and you know the winner getting the big prizes and sands and penthouse and all of that and the runners-up just getting what the runners-up get um, if they represent the women as equals then they will have to <laughs> budget equally as well which may present a problem which or, or it may not because let's face it Miss South Africa is obviously a very resource rich organization let me know what you guys think about Natasha entering again. I am super excited. I'm just a bit hesitant because I don't know what's going to happen if she wins. If she wins, are we going to risk offending Miss Universe by sending a runner-up? And the, the reason why I'm so 
fixated on Miss Universe. Even though Miss South Africa is supposed to be about choosing a queen for South Africa, just like Miss France is and what, 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 I know this. But Miss South Africa has a lot of their recent success to thank for Miss Universe. Miss Universe, the success that South Africa has enjoyed at Miss Universe has brought so many more resources and fame and support for the Miss South Africa organization. And honestly, right now, with the way that things are going at Miss World and the way that Miss World is bleeding supporters because they have been so sloppy with, you know, their schedule and being, you know, routine with hosting a pageant every single year, I think Miss Universe is obviously the most successful and famous pageant in the world. So can Miss South Africa risk offending Miss Universe right now? I wonder, I wonder. Let me know what you guys think. How will we solve this situation? Because I really want Natasha to win Miss South Africa, you know? If I look at all of the other contestants, right, we will have to wait until wait and see until we see the top 30. But I think Natasha has just grown so much since 2020 and I think the the probability is high for her to be one of the top contestants if not the top one this year if not you know the number one this year I mean last time she wasn't even as good as she is now and she got second runner-up so the chance of Natasha winning is really high as it should be because she's amazing and she has grown so much and I've gained so much respect for her since 2020. She's much more authentic now, which I love because that was my major thing with her last time. So I really kind of want her to win. But then again, I really want South Africa to continue doing well at Miss Universe. And I'm not so sure that's going to be the case if we send a runner up and offend the Miss Universe organization through doing that. Anyway, guys, so let me know what you think. I've, I think I've said this like five times, but I really want to know, right? Because this is just shocking information, you know, coming out of left field, knocked me off my chair. Oh, oh my goodness. Natasha Yuba is back. I will see you guys in the next one. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.